Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and today we have an epic quest. If you like your Sudoku simple and straightforward rules and nothing unusual, then I suggest you get our apps. <laughs> they're great. They have, um, well, they're not always that simple to be fair, but they often are, and they have a basic set of rules for each of the apps. Very well worth checking into on the um, links under the video. There's even gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku, but there are also sandwich and classic and killer and so on. Uh, today, what I'm doing on the channel is not that. Um, maybe a bit more related to a hunt, like on Patreon, where you can still do the um, anyone tennis anyone hunt by uh, Philip Bloomer, aka Glum Hippo, and ourselves. Um, we are very proud of that. It's a tennis hunt in six games with a tie break, uh, very well worth a go. Do give it a try, uh, join us on Patreon, but if you don't want to do that or get the apps or indulge in our merchandise or try Sven Sudoku Pad, then the first link under the video will be to this puzzle. There are a few rules. No, there's much more than a few rules. So I'm going to read the email that we got from the constructor Damasosos92, who said, Hi there, in the last few weeks I've, so much, I've solved almost all the puzzles published by Nordi and I decided to make a tribute puzzle that somewhat mixes their style with mine. So I decided to put in this one a lot of things that in my opinion are Nordi-ish in sense of setting style and their favourite combination of rules. It seems the puzzle was well received and Nordi loved it, so I decided to submit it to Cracking the Cryptic. It's meant to be the Sudoku transposition of an epic story about the wanderer who found a way to banish the serpent from Sudoku land. So the purpose of the puzzle is not only solving the Sudoku, but also dividing the regions, as the backstory and the spells say. Now, what about the backstory and the spell? Here we go. Here we go. Get ready for this. The Song of the Serpent and the Wanderer. Behold, hear ye, for a tale of dire proportions unfolded. In the hallowed kingdom of Sudoku land, a demon, Nordi its name, hath unleashed a monstrous serpent, its vastness eclipsing the very sun. From the majestic watchtowers of the realm, dire reports arrive, recounting how the odd serpent slithereth through each of the villages, sowing dread and laying waste to all who cross its path. Locked within their abodes, the hapless denizens beseech the gods for a saviour to come and deliver them from this perilous plight. Yet alas time ticks away, their provisions dwindle, and the hopes of the realm fade with each passing morn. Day after day, explorers have set forth from the kingdom and traversed the lands in search of a remedy to no avail. And lo, today, a glimmer of hope emerges as the great sorcerer Simon uncovereth an ancient, or no, maybe Mark, uncovereth an ancient scroll containing a powerful incantation, a luminous spell that shall safeguard the kingdom and banish the serpentine fiend, casting it back into the wicked abyss from whence it was summoned. Now, wanderer, dost thou possess the valour to journey through all the villages, separating them as the spell commandeth, returning to the palace of the king, and thus redeeming Sudoku land? Know this, adventurer, in thy hands the destiny of a realm lieth. And the spell, here comes the spell, a bit of a poem here, but don't worry, there will be actual rules afterwards. With mystic art and power combined, unleash the spell that fate hath assigned to quell the serpent's fearsome might, reshape the villages, bring forth the light. By decree of magic's ancient law, each village's boundaries shall be restored. Divide the odd serpent as tis written, only this way will it be smitten. Nine regions to each other bound are this serpent's hunting ground. Redraw their borders, let it be known, each village plays a part its own. Let no hamlet claim too much, nor any shall be left untouched. Balance will reign when numbers align, from the king's palace the spell will shine. From tail to fang, from scale to eye, in equal measure let each part lie. When balance meets the serpent's frame, from the land it shall vanish, and so its name. My goodness, that is just the backstory and the spell. Here come the rules. So, the Sudoku land. We have to divide the grid into regions, each consisting of nine orthogonally connected cells. Each row, column, and region must contain the digits one to nine exactly once. Every row, every column, and every nine-cell region that might look, for instance, like that, will contain all the digits from one to nine. 
The King's Palace, the shown region, is the King's Palace. It is one of the regions into which the grid has to, has to be divided. And so it contains the digits one to nine once each. The serpent. Some cells must be shaded to form a single snake that is one cell wide, that does not branch and cannot touch itself, not even diagonally. The snake must contain only odd digits. So a snake could look like this, not touch only moving orthogonally, not touching itself. That could be a snake, for instance. Now the watchtowers, the digit in a watchtower, the squared cells, says how many snake cells are a knight's move away from that cell. So this one will be looking at these cells and saying how, the digit in the cell will say how many of these surrounding cells are snake cells. And those snake cells that it sees sum to the number in the top left corner of the watchtower, the 14 in this case. So this might be seeing three snake cells, say, which could be six and five and three. Those would all be on the snake, add up to 14. That would fulfill all the requirements so far. Um, there is a watchtower in every region of the grid, and the snake cannot pass through any watchtower. Okay, those are two important rules. That's why there are nine watchtowers. Oh, and here we go with the spell. Last rule. Each region of the grid must contain exactly the same number of snake cells. And that's it. That's all we get. Four given digits. King's Palace outlined for us. Wow. Give it a go if you feel up to it. I don't know what we're going to find in this puzzle, but you can check the video length to get a clue. Let's get cracking. Hello, this is just me interrupting myself to say, just after I said, let's get cracking, I realized that I, I didn't have anything like an hour, which I imagined would be necessary at least um, ahead of me. And I had to make the call within the next half hour. So I just stopped the recording and then came back to my PC later and started again. And I just thought I ought to explain that that happened. In case you're wondering, you know, there might well be my having just apparently explained the rules and then maybe I struggle to remember them quickly. I don't know. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know what happened there. And uh, now back in time, the real me is about to start the puzzle again. Um, I really hadn't spent any time on it the first time. Anyway, um, back to Mark. I'm going to say the starting words again. Um, in fact, I'm going to restart the clock. Let's get cracking. So, ah, we have got so little information. Right. This watchtower sees it sees a maximum of two snake cells so it could see either of either of those could have a three in it or they could be a one two pair no no of course not i'm sorry because the the snake only has odd numbers on it so this is only counting odd numbers. So that's a one, and one of these two is a three. Then we've got this four in this corner, which is counting a maximum of two snails, snails, snake cells. And that one sees that digit. So that's, that is a two, and this is a one, three pair. And they're on the snake, and one of these is on the snake. Oh, and there was a rule that watchtowers are not on the snake, so they can all go green. Green is going to be my non-snake color. Purple is going to be my snake color. Can't color the given digits because they... Oh, no, the, the even number can't be on the snake. Right, and then these... No these numbers are from two, three, or four, because none of them can see more than four cells by knight's move. That one can see those four. That one, ah, can see a maximum of three. 
this one could see those four, and they could be a one, two, three, four. In fact, there can be repeat digits in this sum of 10. Okay, this one can't be a four because one of the digits it sees is not on the snake. This one sees up to seven cells. That one can't be on the snake. got to think more about these ones. Oh. Oh, this is, this, sorry, I should have learned this lesson from these. If you've got an even number in the watchtower, in the, in the clue, the little clue in the watchtower, then the big number in the watchtower is also even. Yes, that is absolutely vital. Because you're adding a number of odd numbers. If you add an odd number of odd numbers, you get an odd total. If you add an even number of odd numbers, you get an even total. So this is a three, because we have to place three, two, and four in this row. These are two and four, but of course, 10, 10, I was gonna say, 10 can't add four odd numbers, but it could. This could be one, three, one, three. So I will be, oh, but 10, 20 can't just add two odd numbers. Right, that's the way to look at it. Okay, sorry. There we go. One, three, four, two. Now, this three, therefore, everything it sees is snake. And that's a problem, because how is the snake ever getting out of this corner? Because you have to join that up, or in one of those ways. Oh, I suppose we haven't got a head or tail. The snake might have a head or tail in the corner. Is that, is that the only possibility? I'm not sure I understand this puzzle much yet. Sorry. Oh, that to, no, I don't know. Oh, this is a four. All of its possible snake cells are snake, right. Now we've got some snake forming here. So this is green because Otherwise, the snake is going to touch itself, and it's not to be naughty. I think this is green, and now the snake has got, let's call it a tail here. Uh, this is green, so this one doesn't branch. This is green, obviously, for the same reason. This is green. Oh, and this is the other end, right. We've got the tail here and the head here, looking into the king's palace. So those are green because the snake mustn't touch itself diagonally. This is purple. Now the snake is going to have to continue some sort of path around here and to get to join a head and a tail. Might go around here and I don't know. Anyway, let's... Right, this is green because otherwise the snake touches itself. This is green, because it can't be another head or tail. This is definitely purple, is it? Yes, it is. And therefore, that's the three. And this is green. Um, and not a three. Well, it could be a three, but it's not a snake three. And now, the four that add up to 20 could be any odd numbers. Ah, oh, the two, one of those, and oh, whichever way the snake moves on from here, it either goes up that way or around that way. It doesn't come down here or here because it would touch itself. So we don't know about the two, the three that add up to 15 of those cells. Oh, hang on, the snake seems to have to go up to here. Um, and th these are all odd numbers. I'm sort of left wondering if I'm meant to know what odd numbers they are. From these totals. Three. None of those digits can be a three. They can't all be five, so at least one of them is a one. 
only one of them is a one and the other two add up to 15 to 14 but we could have two sevens amongst those so this is either a one and two sevens or a one five nine set What's this 17? I haven't really examined this, have I? This is a watchtower 2. Okay, so here are its potentials. Oh, well, that's interesting. So three of them are snake already. Four of them cannot be snake. Ah, and we've got to have an odd number in the circle. So it's a 3. Yes, that's a 3. And this one is not snake because it only sees three snake cells, which add up to 17. And these two are in the 20 as well. Can they have a one in? Yes, because the other two could be nine, seven. Ah, no, hang on. Oh no, it was the 15 where they were restricted. Okay, I don't know quite what's going on. Oh, the snake can't go here because it would die in a head or a tail. It can't go here or here because if it went here, that would mean need to be part of a corner. Ah, okay. In this King's Palace region, how many snake cells are there? I'm remembering the rule now about the same number of snake cells are visited in each region. Oh, so the snake is of a length that is divisible by nine. And in this region, there are either three or four cells that are snake cells. Well, I say either three or four because it doesn't look to me like the snake could only be 18 cells long. Let's just trace the absolute minimum length of the snake as I see it at the moment. Something like that. Now this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 17, 21, 22, 23, 24 digits. So we're, we're at least over two snake cells per region. Now what's the longest it could be? Could loop around here doing this sort of thing. Um, yeah, I don't see why. Maybe it could do even more in the middle. Yeah, it could. Look, if we did that all the way down to the corner and in the middle we went... Oh no, maybe it can't... I don't know. Maybe it can't get down here except by wiggling more at the start. Tell you what, maybe we could go like that, then it can come down here. There, I reckon that's the longest snake. I'm not certain, but let's count that up anyway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 13, 15, 18, 20, 23, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35. We do not get to 36. But now it suddenly matters whether I could get a tiny bit more of length out of my snake. Um, I don't think I can. I don't see where you'd get another cell out of it. Oh, I'm so slow, sorry. Look, three and nine are green cells in the King's Palace. What's that got to do with what I've just been talking about, you may wonder. Well, the answer is that if those two odd cells are not on the snake in the King's Palace, the maximum number of odd cells that can be on the snake in the King's Palace is three doesn't matter where they are amongst these four cells, but only three odd cells are purple in the palace. So there are three in each region and we have a 27 cell snake, which probably could still go round that side. Let's just count that up. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know, it could also go up at the top, actually. I don't know. Okay, we've got three cells, though, 
in each region. 27 sales snake. Ah, I think there's a bishop's move thing to be done with the snake. The snake only moves orthogonally. So if you were to kind of checkerboard the grid and look at these cells, and imagine I checkerboarded the whole grid along those diagonals, as it were. Now that the head of the snake in the palace is not on those. But we now know the snake is 27 cells long. Every odd digit, every odd numbered cell along the snake. So call the head number one, this is number two, that's number three. Every odd one is off the highlighted diagonals. So we've got to finish in cell 27. That's got to be off the highlighted diagonals so we know it's here instead of here. So the snake does go into the corner. So we're going to pick up three of these. So one of these two, at least, is snake. Ah, and that's interesting because we might get to more than 27 if we try and pick up. See, I think you have to do something like, oops, not there, something like this. Now, one, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 25, 27, 29. Now, I don't think there's a quicker way of doing it if you go around the outside of this green. As long as you have to pick up one of these. And you do. You definitely do. There's nothing that you can't actually get them together then. Right. So it doesn't go around the outside of this green. That is green as well. These are green. It goes up here, picks up at least one digit there. I don't know which of these is the third digit in the palace that gets taken. Can I? I it can't go round here because that would be much bigger than 27. You can count that if you want. It's obvious to me, I think. I don't think then it can go into columns one and two here because it couldn't get out again. Oh, and you've got these. Right. This was counting these cells potentially. So forget the green ones. Now it's counting a maximum of three cells, and it's got to be even. So that's two. This is counting a maximum of three cells. So that's a two as well. They can't be counting the same two cells, even though they have the same total. And I think the only two cells they share a knight's move with are those two. Oh, and of course there are... S right, the snake can't come to this cell because that would be a corner of the snake. So all of these would be on the snake. And look how many odd digits you'd have in column three. Not just five snake cells, but also the three at the bottom. That's impossible. So that is not a snake cell. So now the snake has to come through this gap between the two green areas we've created. Yeah, I've got to be on the lookout for exceeding the numbers of odd cells. I've got all my five, oops, there. I've got, these are all odd, right. Oh, that's quite interesting then. Do I know that... Oh, these two add up to 10. Hang on, these are both purple. They can't be 3, 7. They're a 1, 9 pair. They can't be 5s, obviously. That 10 for that watchtower. Right, now we might be on to something. Oh, that's 9 is in the palace already, so that's a 1, that's a 9. This 20 is going to use those 4. So it needs 19 more. Um, and this 17 is going to use those two and that. And that is two less than 19, so, or two fewer. So that number is two fewer than that number. Um, and this is therefore not three or nine, and that can't be three. So this is either five or seven, and that is seven or nine, and it can't be nine. 
That's a seven, that's a five, that's beautiful, right. 20 is made up of seven and one is eight. And those two add up to 12. They can't be three, nine, they must be five, seven. And that 17 is made up of those 12 and that five. Okay, that logic worked. This 15, this now has to be a five by Sudoku. See, seven, three, one, and nine. So this 15 is getting a five there, and then two digits that add up to 10 here, which have to be nine and one, that works. We're away. Okay. Hello, snake. You're getting populated with digits. This is five or nine. This one is one or nine. Now, can it go here to another one or nine? Yes. But this 14 is adding that and this. So that's a nine. This needs a five in its other snake cell in one of those places. Haven't looked at this 18 yet and I suppose it's probably time to now. So, it's picking up that purple and those two. So it's at least going to be four. What other cells could it pick up? All of these, so it's, get, it's got three, maximum seven, so this is of even four or six. Now, if it was four, what's this gonna be? This is a five or a seven. Um, I know it's not a 1, because it sees a 1 in its region. Oh, that 3 is looking up here. That's been available for ages, I think. Um, doesn't do anything. But now, if that was a 4, then the 18 is made up of those 4, plus 14 in the other 2, Five there and a nine in one of the yellow cells. None of the yellow cells can have a nine in. No. But if that was a four, this would have to be a seven. And then one of the yellow cells, in fact, any of them, well, almost any of them can have a seven in. If that's a six, four there, and then 14 in three. Four yellow cells in, I don't know. Oh, hang on, where does five go in this central box? Oh, it could be here. I thought I was about to write it in here, but it could be there. Doesn't have to be on the snake, obviously. Oh no, it does, it does, it does. I'd forgotten, we said earlier, that there are three digits on the snake in this King's Palace region. And they're not three and nine. One, five, and seven are on the snake here. That is on the snake. If that was seven, where would five be on the snake? In one of those cells clashing with that. So that's five. Seven is definitely in one of these two places and is on the snake. Now, this is on the, the thingy. And we can't have a nine in the yellow cells, so that can't be four. That is now six. It's adding nine there, and then another nine in th three of these four cells. That's Nine can either be made up of three threes. That's ridiculous, that's impossible. Because you just couldn't. You couldn't fit through. Well, it's not, it's not ridiculous. It just happens not to work in this case. In theory, if it wasn't for that three, those could all be threes. But that is not the case this time. So therefore, that nine is going to have to be made up of one, one, and seven. Is it? No, it could be one, three, five. I'm sorry. That's really weird. 135 is possible, so that's quite likely, in fact. But 117 is also possible. I think there is a way that 117 can work if it was 1 here and here and 7 here, so I'm not ruling that out yet. This could still be seven on the snake. 
if that's on the snake and that's not. I, I might well be missing something very clear about the interaction between the 18 sum, these things being on the snake. Oh, I've got these two twos to sort out as well. Well, no, that's done. This one needs a five in one of those. I, this one's done, this one's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. This watchtower is done. Okay, so it's just that one and this one to resolve. This is an absolutely fascinating puzzle, but goodness knows how we're going to get any regions done in it. I need to find out what the snake does, don't I? How can we do that? Because we're, st we're still on an absolute minimum of 25. We need to get a kink into the snake somewhere. Like either, maybe if you added those cells instead, that would do it, or... Or if you added something up here. I mean, there may be other ways. I'm not an expert on snake turns, I have to say. That's a four or an eight, just by Sudoku. That's weird. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. Do I need to think about this every region only has three cells again? Because that's hard. I don't know what that does for me the puzzle oh no let's I don't know there are so many things to think about in this puzzle if that's on the snake it's a one if that's on the snake we know it's a seven there is a seven on the snake in one of these positions that I, I want to use that better don't know what to do with it. It's so strange. I think we've got into a different phase of the puzzle that I don't understand now. Mind you, I didn't understand the first phase of the puzzle at the start, so take what we can get. Um, Gosh, I don't know what to think now. Five. There's, there's quite a few fives here. I was going to say that was five, but five could be there in the bottom row. Okay, let's go back to this 18. Now, these, the three yellows that go purple are either 1, 3, 5. Oh, hang on. Okay, if that was the case, this has to be the 3. And... Wow. It would all be determined because we couldn't have the 7 in the, in the King's Palace. So it would either be three there, one here, which can't be five, because that's the only one of the yellows that can be a three, that's why, and five here. So that's one possibility for making nine out of three yellow cells. The other one, I think, is this 171, which would have to have one in both of those places and seven there. And I think in either case, this is a one and is on the snake and is purple. And probably doesn't help at all. How are we getting on for ones? Let's try that again. Not many done. Ah, uh, no, I was going to say we could say that was a one, but this could be in row six. So we've either got seven there, one there. I didn't pencil mark that. That's one possibility. Or five there and three there. So this is a one or, an, or a five and is on the snake. So that goes purple. So the snake doesn't go here. I don't know how that's going to help me, but you never know. 
goes through one of those Now, if it went through here as a seven, it couldn't go through any of these because we'd have they'd all all the odds would have gone in the column. So it probably, I don't know. Oh, this needs to hit a five. Of course, is that? If this was a five, ah, if this was a five, that would be where the five from here would go. Oh, and that's getting interesting now. Then, if this is a five for this six thing, that's a three. And then this is a five, apparently. Now, is that possible? The count on the snake seems okay. It would obviously have to go around here to get out of the top. That would put a seven. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yes, this doesn't work for a very convoluted reason that I'm going to use. Okay, so what I'm saying is, if this 18 sum was made up of 5131, one, that's 11. Uh, 10, sorry. It's got 7 more, 8 more, which is either 7, 1 there, or 5, 3 there. Now, if it was this 5, 3 option, this would not be the snake 7 in the central kingdom, in the palace. That would be here. But now you'd have 17593 in column 7, and that couldn't be snake. And yet the snake would have to come up to here to satisfy this 14 clue. Because that couldn't be another five. That is right. And that will fail because then it can't get out of the top row. That's pretty weird, but it'll do. It'll do. It's good. This is not five and three. Instead, it is one here and seven here on the snake. There we go. And we have established... Well, we've established how the snake passes through the king's quarters... We still don't know which of one of them is a five. This is green, though, because it's not on the snake for this 18 or 6 count. Now, I th how many are we going to do if we go up here? 1, 2, 4, 7, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. That could be 27. That could be exactly what we do. Uh, this is green, though. Let's, let's just do what we can do. This is green because it's in the king's apartment. And we've had three snake cells in that. The king doesn't want any more snake in his apartment. This is seven or nine. That's green. Now, the snake could get its kink there, or it could get it up here. From the shortest possible path. That's so weird. Okay. This is, I, I don't know, I was going to say it's five or seven, but it doesn't have to be odd, it doesn't have to be on the snake. No, the snake can't go up here because we've already had four odd digits up here. So it doesn't go up here, it goes along here. Now it's got to go up to pick up that one, then it's got to go here. Now to get to 27 count, it's got to go into column nine. And there we go. There is your snake, ladies and gentlemen. And in fact, let's get rid of all the greens then. That is the snake. Can I do any more of the numbers on it? That is five or nine. This is, oh look, these are all the odds. One, three. Those can't be nine, so that is, that's a five, seven pair. But of course, I've got this 14 to satisfy, 9 and 5, yes. So I can take those pencil marks out completely. This can't be 1, 7, 5 or 9, that's a 3. This is a 3, that's 5 or 7, and there we go. That's as much as I can see that I can colour now. I've used all the watchtowers. 
or in terms of their totals. Yes, now the next puzzle is going to be to create the regions. I want to colour the regions. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the pen tool and line the snake. And I'm going to use orange because the snake is all odd digits. There is the snake. I'm doing that so that I can go back into colours and get rid of purple. And now I can use other colours to create regions, like the King's Palace, which is clearly yellow, I have decided. OK, maybe there is Sudoku to do first now. So this is 1 or 8. This is 1, 4 or 8. Um, these are all the even digits. going to put them in. Uh, pencil marking quite that much is slightly against my better judgment. You don't think it is, but it is. Um, right. How are we doing on these odd digits? So we've got quite a few ones in the grid. The one in row six is there or there. The one in row four uh, is in one of those two positions. Okay, I can't actually finish the ones. How are threes doing? There's only two threes left to place and they are forming an X-wing between these cells. Fives, mm, not much of that done. The five in this column is in one of those two. Uh, I could, the pencil marking could get a bit out of hand here. Mind you, the, f oh no, the five in the bottom rows and one of those two, I'm not going to mark everything. How about sevens? I don't know. I mean, I thought this was going to be useful. Nines. As for the even digits, I don't think I've really got many of those. I mean, I could be missing some giveaway here, but I can't see it. What are, how are twos doing? They're the ones that I've got a bit marked. Oh, okay, that. Yeah, two in this column. Yeah, two in columns five and seven are in an X-wing amongst those things. Is that right? Let's look at twos again. It is right. Okay. So... Two in the other three rows, rows six, seven, and eight. Ah, yes, okay. This X-wing pattern of twos I've marked will include one in what I was now going to call the Royal Pavilion, but the Royal Palace. Therefore, this isn't a two, and the two in this row has to be here, which is going to make the two in the next row there and the two in row eight there. So those twos can all be marked. That's good. Well, that's probably good. This is six or eight. These are from two, six, and eight, and they include a two. Four must be in one of those cells. I'm not going to mark that. In fact, I'm going to take out that five marking. They're from five, six, and eight. I don't mind central marking now. Don't like corner marking. Now, if that was a seven, this would have to be the seven in column nine. Oh, but equally and weirdly, I think if this was a five, this would have to be the five in column nine. Oh, that's very strange. One of them must be one of them must be a five because they can't both or a five, a five here or a seven here because they can't both be nines. That's such an odd relationship. These are from four, six, eight. I might be marking an awful lot of four, six, eights in this puzzle. Now, the thing to do with the regions, the first thing to do is to remember that there's a watchtower in every region of the grid. Oh, so I could just colour the watchtowers. How about that? Red, blue, orange, green, purple, grey, bright green, bright blue. 
So these are the nine regions. What can I do with that? The trouble is that the region areas are so... Even down here, where there's only two cells between the yellow and the border, blue could come through there, blue could go through there, orange could come through... Well, I couldn't do that because it would cut off blue. OK, let's think about this. Ah, what about the twos? What colour are the twos? We've got a lot of twos coloured. The yellow two is going to be in one of those cells. One of those is a two and is probably bright blue. Well, I think it is bright blue because the twos in these regions are already placed weirdly. The two here, the two in one of these is definitely bright blue. I don't know which one is the two, but it's definitely bright blue. Now this two is going to be either red, blue or green as are these twos. Well, surely it's going to be blue, green, red. Now, could this be anything else? That could be red, but then you'll never get this to be blue or green. That, similarly, if that was green, then they have to join up here and you'll never get that to be any of the other colours. So that's blue. This one has to be red because green can't reach it and that's green. Okay. We've coloured the twos. Can we do that with any other digit? We don't have that many other digits. Maybe we have... Well, no, that was really useful because there were twos in all these watchtowers. This blue can't really go very far here without hitting two sevens. Oh no, it could. It could go through one of the sevens. Actually, it's much harder for it to go this way. Because it's going to cut off orange or maybe green. Hang on, what's this? This joins to this. Now, are they... Wow, what colour are they? There seem to be three alternatives, don't there? If they're green, that has to be an eight, and that's a four. Yeah, we've really got to focus on the fact that the colours have to pick up three snake cells. Now, I hang on, blue doesn't come this way. Because the three snake cells it would get are those. It, it would have to come through here. It would have the nine and the five. It can't have another nine, so it would have to get a three here. But now orange is blocked in enough that if orange escaped, green would be blocked in. That's what I kind of saw at the beginning. So blue does not come this way. It does, certainly doesn't come this way beyond there, say. But no, and therefore blue is going to have to go this way and is going to hit at least two snake cells coming out here. That can't be a four, by the way. That's interesting. Now, it's going to hit one of these sevens. Ah, oh, now, maybe this can't be... Yes, this can't be... I was going to say this can't be blue because that would have to be an 8. Let's just check this. 1, 8, 5, 9, 2, 4, 6. One of these 7s. No, 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 no. There's no 3 for blue. Right. Where is blue's 3? We've just worked out it can't get that one that way. We've got a three here, stopping there being a three in any of these cells. Where is blue's three? Well, it can't be there because there's a three here. I think it's got to be this. Um, 
not sure yet because it could go up this way and find a three to the north, but it's going to have to be north of that. Where is blues three? This is a very interesting question. It's not this one. We've worked that out. This one is the only other one in the bottom five rows that is a candidate to be blue. Oh, that has to be red, by the way. Oh, and red's going to hit snake cells here. Well, red has to take these, otherwise it's going to block in too small a region. So they're red. That's red. Now it's already got two snake cells. Red. It's going to need one other. Which is not going to be that, or it would leave two cells that blue would have to take, and they'd both be sevens. I think it's going to have to be that, because if red tried to curl around and get a snake cell from the top, it would block in a blue area that would involve, well, too many snake cells, too many sevens. So that is the third red snake cell. That is a seven, three, five, seven digits in red. Now, that can't be red because it's snake and it's already got its three. That can't be red because it's three and it's already got its, its three in another sense. So red is going to have to continue up to there, at least. And then one more cell in one of those positions. Blue can't come that far. So it's got to get... It could... Oh, I don't know. I haven't ruled... Have I ruled out those? I can rule out those, and I don't think I did... Oh, no, maybe not. If that was blue as a, sh as a region. No, then it doesn't get a three. That is the problem. So we can rule out those being in blue. So the maximum stuff that blue can have this side is those three cells. Because those two are joined together. They go together. So blue is going to have to get at least three cells from over here somewhere. And two of those will be snake cells, so blue cannot come to here. So now that's the maximum five blue, as far right as we can go. Blue now needs to get four of these cells. I don't know which ones, but, but it can't take both fives, because they're both on snake. Well, and they're, they're both fives, it's not allowed to do that. Must it get one of them? It probably must. Ah, oh, this is so confusing. Now, hang on. These aren't blue. I don't think they can be green. Because to join them up with green, even at the leaving the most space possible for orange, orange can only be eight cells. Those are orange. They join with that. They must join through there, because otherwise they'd come round here and that would be blue and we proved it can't be. Now, we're going to have to get three snake cells for orange. The only way we can do that is by picking up this three and one of the nines. Can't pick up both nines, we can't get round this far. Yeah, that three is orange. <sighs> Blue is, uh, sorry, green is going to have to come up here because otherwise it's, oh, I'm not sure. Green could currently go up there. Four, seven, no, that wouldn't leave enough space for orange. So green is going to have to go up there. Hang on, it could go up that way. <laughs> That's green. i just got to be careful here. I don't want to make a mistake, especially if it's going to be fatal to the puzzle. Five orange there, one of these. Ah, so it needs three more cells out of those four. I think that is always going to be orange. It can't ignore that cell or it gets cut off. That is six, seven or eight by Sudoku. I think this one is as well. Okay, come on. This is blue, that's definite, because blue has to get out up here. Now, what could that be? Could that really be non... 
non-red or blue. It would have to escape up here, right up the pipe. And blue would have to go up here and stop there so it doesn't hit green, grey or more snake cells. And that would only be, oh, that would be eight, but it could have one or two. It can't have that if it goes up there. Oh, is that possible to be blue? I was about to ask the question again, where does blue get its three, which I'd forgotten, but yes, it could get it here, I suppose, in this cell. It's so unlikely. Um, but I don't know. Okay, green has to get three snake cells. That is possible, but so are all these. Uh, oh no, that is not possibly green, because green has got a one already. Yes, I have to focus on the odds that are already in color. There aren't many of them, so that doesn't matter. These are from four, six, and eight. Um, that and that are from four, six, and eight. That's from six, seven, and eight. Gosh, this is t this is a manic quest, isn't it? Song of the Serpent, the Wanderer. One of those is four. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Those six are orange, and one of these nines. Right, where does orange get its one? Not in these rows. Not in those poor lowly rows. So that's a nine. That's a seven. This is six or eight. That is now a four, six, eight triple. This is five or seven, but it can't be seven. So that's a five. That's a seven. That's a nine. All of the cells on the snake are done apart from that one. I was going to say, where does red get its nine? But it's in one of those two cells. So that's five, six, or eight. Um, that is not a five. The five in this column is there. Three, one, seven. Ooh, if that's red, that's a four, six, eight triple. Then this is a five, nine pair. If that's red, it's not a three. Oh, right. Where's red's five? Ah, oh, no, I, just, I thought that was brilliant, but it's in one of those two places. Oh, my. Bobbins, what on earth is going on? There's a one in one of those two cells. Where does blue get its one? There is an interesting question. There is an interesting question. One, two, three, four. Well, the answer is in one of these two cells. And now we know, well, do we, do we know a lot about which cells blue is taking from the snake? Oh, surely we do. One of these is blue's one. Five, nine, seven. Oh no, I don't know that it's those. That must be its nine. That's got to be blue's nine. Yeah, even if you imagined it could get round to get that one. Yeah, that's got to be blue's nine. And one of these is the third blue snake cell. Well, is it? Can I go back to saying where's... Oh, blue's three. Look, those can't be a three because there's an X-wing on threes that I'd forgotten about. That has to be blue's three now. It can't reach there. 
and it can't reach there. That is blues three. Right, that shuts this in. That is now blue. And we've got the blue snakes, and that is not blue. Is blue going to have to escape to here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or does it take those two? We've got, yes, it needs a one. Where is it getting a one? It's getting it here. Yes. Okay. One there. That's now not a four. That's a six, eight pair. Red finishes here, and that's not a three now. So that's sorted out the X-Wing on threes. And that's sorting out the X-Wing on twos. These are the twos. Oh, we get a three in the corner. I'm sorry, I have no time to think about your religious preferences now. Three in the corner. Um, now, we get twos here. What was blue here? It was which two is blue. So that's blue there, and that's not necessarily blue. Um, right. Now, I feel like we might embark on a new stage of the puzzle. Four, five, or eight in those cells, according to the row. Three, four, two, one. So we need a nine oh, in one of those two cells again. I think I've looked at that a number of times. Now, blue is finished suddenly. Because it needed that one. It had to go there. No, hang on, hang on. I've claimed this nine is blue. And it could be that nine that's blue. I don't think anything else changes. But that nine doesn't have to be blue. So let's, let's take it easy and backpedal a tiny bit there. And if that nine turns out not to be blue in the end, I'll be proud of this moment in the video and spotting that. But now I have only eight blues. And I need, well, I need one of those nines to be blue. This is orange, though. Orange has got up to seven. Orange is taking one of these nines. One of these is orange and one is green. Green is now one, two, three, four cells amongst those five. It hasn't got any uh, snake cells yet. There are possibilities there. Now, this is a non blue color. Well, no, I don't know. This is a non-blue color. But it could be any of those things. Um, oh, where's this three in the corner going to get its snake cells? Ah, oh, that's very interesting. Right. This is not red or blue. It can't be purple because no snake cells. It's either grey or green, grey or bright green, which is very interesting. And I don't think it can be grey. And the reason I'm going to say that is because then where would that get its three snake cells that couldn't involve a three? It would have to take them from this area. It can't reach enough snake cells any other way. Even if it tried to cunningly do it like that, it's, that's too long. So it would have to take them from these four. And what I'm positing is if this is grey, it would be there. It would take them from these four, leaving green to have three snake cells now, green couldn't have those as its snake cells because they'd involve two nines. And once one of these goes grey, once one of these nines goes grey, green can't do the business. It can't either get through or get enough cells. So that is not grey. That is green. It doesn't come through here. It obviously come. Well, in fact, these must both be green because green has to connect up and red and blue. Well, red is finished. Blue isn't necessarily finished. Oh no, but it, it's last, it's cell is there or there. So fine, that's green. Because it's got to now try and find snake cells. We've got five. It mustn't use seven as a snake cell. It can't take these or anything like them, because it would shut in an area down here. 
it's got to take this five. If it didn't take that five and it still tried to find three snake cells in its remaining four cells, surely... Oh, well, hang on. Could it possibly take... No, it can't use three. It can't... Could it leave room for blue? No, it mustn't leave the two nines behind. It would have to take a nine. Right, it's got to take this. That has to be green. I think I'm certain of that now. And now we've got a four, six, eight in green. The other two cells in green are a snake one and a snake nine. And the snake one is there. And now we don't know which one of those is green. Just like we don't know which one of those is blue, which one of those is orange. Oh, the nines are having a crazy party around the palace and they're annoying me. Now, what's this cell? I was going to say in terms of colour, but actually I might think about the numbers in a moment. Four, six and eight. No, that one can't be four. Six. Oh, we've got a six, eight pair. Neither of these can be four. That is a four. Three, five, seven. This is six, eight or nine, as is the cell at the top of the grid. Now, what colour is this? I think it's got to be grey. If it was purple, you couldn't get enough snake cells. If it was a bright blue, five, you couldn't get enough snake cells. You couldn't get three snake cells, so it's grey. And it's got... That can't be green, because green has a four, six, eight triple, so that's grey. Now, if grey starts coming up, coming out through this end, how is that going to get enough? I don't know. Enough snake cells is what I'm thinking. I'm not sure. So, back to the thinking board. Not a real place. Oh, look, there's a one needed in this column. So that's not a one, and it wasn't a one for ages. Um, that's four, six, or eight. And this one might as well pencil mark it, even though there are four options there. Now, come on, we're getting closer all the time. We've still got to get a nine in bright green, in blue, and in orange. Sure, the, this this can't be anything other than grey, can it? It still can't be purple because that's those seven would have to connect up, and would not leave enough room to get snake cells. So could this now be bright blue, which would come out here? No, no, it's going to cut off whatever snake cells it tries to take it's going to cut off too little grey. Isn't it? Yeah, it, it can't be. That's grey as well. I mean, I don't know quite what this is proving. I'd like to prove that these are grey, because then I'd know that was a 9. In fact, that is a 9. We've got a 4, 6, 7, 8 quad in the top row. 9. Right, that's done the 9 in red in the corner. How are my nines? They might all be done. That was probably a lot easier than... Yeah, they are. Look at that. How are sevens going? We've got two sevens left to do in the top row and the bottom row. They form an X-wing there and there. How are fives? We've got fives. Right. The five in the bottom row is now done, and that does the five in row four. This is worth doing, suddenly. How are the threes doing? One, two, three, four. That's all of them. Okay, they're done. Ones, they're done. Twos, they're done. Crikey, so I'm only left with one pair of sevens and four six eights. But I've still got all of these blinking colours to do. Right, this, this green can't go through that one. Now, does it have to take that? I bet it does. Yes, it needs three snake cells. It can't get them all before there, so it goes through there. So those are green because you can't shut anything off. Now I've got six green cells and another one down here. That's seven. Oh, in fact, this five can't be orange anymore. Sorry, because of that. That's been available for ages. 
Um, okay, so I've got seven green cells. And I need two more snake cells in green that aren't one. It could be those, in fact, this. No, I don't know, that could send down a pipe from the top. Ah, okay. Three. It's got to be seven and nine are the snake cells in green, but I don't know which, <laughs> which nine, and even if I did, well, if it was that nine, I'd know it was that seven. Oh, bother. This is so tricky now. Um, can I do some clever Sudoku? Well, it's not clever, but there's a 6-8 there. It's something. It takes four out of those cells. Um, 6-4-8. One of those is a 4. One of those is a 4. Is it worth colouring 6s and 8s? somehow. I'm getting tempted to do it. I don't know. Let's just pause for a second and not quite do it yet. The trouble is colouring is going to involve, well, maybe we'll go letters next time. <laughs> okay, let's do letters on the sixes and eights. So we've got a six there. That can be A. The one next to it is B because they're in the same row together. That's a B. That's an A. This is in the same region as B. That's an A. That's a B. In the same region as that, we have this. In the same column as B, we have that. Look at that. This is interesting. B there. Now, how are we getting on with A's and B's? There's five A's. Right. A in row thingy, row 7, has to be here. Because it's not B, yes. And now we know that A is a shared digit between those cells and is an 8. That was an excellent exercise and very well worth doing. So A is an 8, B is a 6. Now, what might that tidy up for us? 8 here. Four, six, four. That was lovely. Eight there. Those aren't eight. Nor's that. In fact, this is a four. So that sorts out these. These can't be eight. They're a six, seven pair. That is a six. That sorts out my six, seven pair. That makes seven there. Look at that. I'm going to literally finish the, gr well, finish the numbering in the grid. It might give me a message. It does. OK, the solution is correct, but I have not done the colours. So the solution is not completely correct, and I do want to do them. So we've still got 7 and 9 to add to green, and 9s to add to all sorts of colours. But how are we going to sort out these other remaining regions? I really don't even have a clue at the moment. Blue... Blue is going to hit snake cells very quickly somewhere. Okay, could these, could that be purple? Yes, I think it could. That's a no, a no, hang on. It couldn't take the right. If that was purple, it would have to take a third snake cell to it's already got two when it gets that far and it's going to have to take a third snake cell which is not one or three to get through to the two so it's going to take one of the nines but it can't because what it's going to leave behind trapped in on the right is at least two sevens that would have to go in the same region so i don't think this can be purple it can't get through to purple by ta having taken one of those sevens. Wait, it could take that seven. But then it's not going to get a three. Yeah, that can't be purple. And it has to therefore be bright blue. Okay, those are bright blue. 
one, eight, two, and six in bright blue. So we've got sixes remaining. That can't be the purple one because grey can't reach here and still get snake cells. So that's the grey one, that's the purple one. This might be the way to do it. We've got two nines there. One of them is bright blue. The other one is purple. No, that could be bright blue, so that could be green and that could be purple. Wow, you have to be so careful with this. How could that not be grey? That has to be grey. It, otherwise it would be green and green's already got an eight. That's grey. So this is not grey. And it can't be blue because we've had eight in blue. So it's purple. So they're all purple. Now, purple needs three snake cells. And I don't think it can get a five on the snake. No, hang on, grey needs three snake, snake cells too. That's even more important because it can't have that cell, not a snake cell. So that's purple. Now purple is going to get one, nine and three on the snake. And it can't get to that. It's only going to get snake cells. It can't get to that one without going through that nine. So it does go through that nine. So it doesn't get to that one. It needs a one. That's got to be here. And then one of those threes is purple. Grey, meanwhile, is going to take five, seven and three. And that's got to be those ones. Yes. That's purple. Oh, botheration. How can these all be... Oh, they're not all green, they're bright blue. Yes! They can't all be green, because green would be ten. They can't be purple, we've finished purple. They're bright blue. Per green needs those two. This is going to push the nines. We get orange nine, blue nine, bright green nine. This three is going to... Well, both of these are bright blue, and we're done. That is an extraordinary puzzle. Well over an hour. And frankly, I'm delighted to have got through it. I mean, Damasos, Damasosos promised us naughty likeness and delivered it. And that is an intriguing snake puzzle. Really entertaining, interesting and full of stuff. Quite a lot of rules to keep track of, but quite good fun doing it. Thank you for watching, as always, on the channel. And I really hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.